In this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to find the equation of a straight line given two points on the line. But first of all it's worth having a look at what information we actually need to find the equation of a straight line. Well, we need two bits of information. The first bit of information we need is the gradient of the line, which we call M. And the second bit of information we need is a point on the line, which we usually call X1, Y1. Right, when we've got these bits of information, the actual equation of any straight line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And that really is worth remembering. It's different from the method you probably used at GCSE, which was y equals mx plus c, but this equation, doing it this way, makes it a lot easier. Right, so let's have a look at the question. Uh, find the equation of the line that passes through 2 minus 1, so 2 minus 1, and 5, 7. Well, first of all, let's find the gradient between these two points. So the gradient is the y difference over the x difference, which is equal to 7 minus minus 1 over 5 minus 2 equals 8 over 3. The next part, the point, well this is dead easy because we've got a choice of two points on the line now. We know the line passes through both of those points. I'm going to choose my point to be the positive one. In my opinion it makes it easier to keep numbers positive. You might disagree in which case pick 2 minus 1 but you'll get the same answer. So now subbing it into the equation we get y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 and notice that the question asks for this in a specific form it wants it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 so that means that one side of the equation has to be equal to 0 and all the coefficients a, b and c must be integers so the thing to do here First of all, we could multiply this out, but while it's still a fraction, it's quite difficult. So if we times both sides by 3, we'll see that it makes things much easier. So 3y minus 21. And if we multi multiply this side by 3, we undo the divide by 3 to get 8x minus 5. Now it's much easier to multiply out. We've got no fractions getting in the way. So 3y minus 21 equals 8x minus 40. Right, so almost there. We just need everything over to one side now. So we chuck that 3y across there. We end up with 8x minus 3y. Likewise, let's chuck that plus 21 across the other side. So minus 40 plus 21 is minus 19 equals 0 and now we've got it in the form requested 8x minus 3y minus 19 equals 0 so the number in front of x is an integer the number in front of y is an integer and the number on its own minus 19 is also an integer we could have actually thrown this across to the other side here an equally acceptable answer we minus 8x plus 3y plus 19 equals 0 also